Hi, this is Annie Manny with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today we're going to work in elements to show you how to quickly clean up little blemishes and maybe some under eye circles. We are going to be using the healing brushes and the clone tool, and I'm going to kind of show you the differences in the two and uh, show you a couple of different methods I use for doing that. Okay, so we have this picture of my daughter here, and she's got kind of a brownie face. She <laughs> had uh, brownie crumbs all over her face. Sometimes this is charming. Sometimes you want to get rid of those little messes. Um, you, it's uh, helpful for deleting little scratches, little uh, dust marks on your image. Uh, it's helpful for acne and whatever kind of blemishes you're trying to remove or miscellaneous objects. And um, the first one I'm going to work with today is uh, the cloning tool. Cloning tool is kind of the old standby for doing this kind of work. Uh, it works by copying pixels from one location to another, and you're using your brush to paint those on. And um, well, you're using your clone tool, but it works like a brush. And when doing these type of edits, I always create a copy of my layer, so I am not working a a right on my image. And I'm going to hit Command J, and that copies our background layer, which is our photo. And uh, we're going to work on that copy later. So. I'm going to zoom in. You want to zoom in really far when working with these types of tools. So you select the source area, and you do that by clicking Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC. So when you're working with the clone tool, you are just selecting the source area, which is where it's copying from. And then wherever you click, it copies from that area and deposits those pixels on top of whatever wherever you've clicked. So I'm going to hit the Option key here. Actually, I'm going to click down here. She's got a little bit of a, too much texture there. And I'm going to click right here. And I'm gonna. you can see it gives you kind of a preview. Now to change your brush size, you can use your bracket keys. I'm going to hit my right bracket to go up in size. And I'm just going to copy right there. And you can see it's just copying those pixels and putting them on top of those brownie crumbs. One of the most important things to learn when using the clone tool um, is to constantly reselect your source. So as I'm doing this and painting over those areas, I'm clicking the Option key or the Alt on PC and picking a new spot to copy from. Otherwise, you get you get a pattern going across. And let me let me try to show you here. If I, I if I click that as my source, and you keep keep clicking like that, you're going to be clicking. See that you're clicking from the same originating source and you can see it, the pattern really easily. So I'm going to just delete that completely and start over. And so the cloning tool is a little bit more difficult to work with because it's not, you have to do all the blending yourself. And um, so it's just copying pixels from one area to another. So if you're copying, um, you know, from here to here, and you do that, it's gonna it's gonna be lighter because you pick you picked from a lighter area and you're copying over the top of a darker area. And so it's a little bit harder to blend. And so this is why a lot of times I'll just choose the healing brush instead because Photoshop does a lot of that work for you. And um, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm not gonna make a copy this time. I'm going to make a blank layer. And you can do that right here. New layer. And I'm gonna do healing. And that creates a new blank layer there. And I'm going to select my healing brush here. And it works a lot similar to the cloning tool, except um, it's, like I said, it blends for you. And so with a healing brush, um, it, it's really great on things like dust and wrinkles, uh, scratches, things like that. Um, but it's copying the texture of the area uh, from where you select it as your source, and it also tries to match the the, the values of tone from where you ma from where you selected your source. So it's going to blend a lot easier. It's going to try to copy the um, the exact light and dark, and and as well as the texture. So it's going to blend easier. So I'm going to select, and you want to see you want to click on sample all layers first, and um, source sampled and. Also, you want to make sure that your brush that you're working with is a 0% hardness because it's going to make, get nice and soft and blend easier. And so I'm going to click Option and do that. And you can see it blends it all for me. I'm going to, I'm going to hit my right bracket key to change my brush size and make it bigger. And and see it's still selecting from that same source area. So as you're working around your image, you want to keep 
clicking on the option or alt to click a new area closer to where you're working on to make sure it's it's sampling, copying from this uh, the correct area. And keep clicking and resampling so you get a different texture as you keep working on it. So you can see that it's working really nicely. And it's doing a lot of the work for me. And you can see, since we're working on a new layer here that was empty, and it's sampling from below, it's sampling from our image, we can click on the eyeball here and turn that all off. And you can see here, I'll show you what, this is what our edits look like. Um, Right there, that's what we're doing. Those are our edits that it's applying to that layer. And you can turn it on or off as you wish. If you don't like it, you can delete the layer. You can, for some reason, if you're working on like wrinkles or maybe under eye circles, it's here. Let's do a little under eye edit here. I'm gonna select this as my source, nice and clean area, and go over that there. And it's just kind of, I see it's, it's not, it's not like the clone tool where it just copies right over the top of it. It blends it in. And so, let's see, I didn't like that. Sometimes it's not, and sometimes it doesn't do exactly what you want it to do. Um, so with that, when you're working on like under eye circles, you're gonna wanna maybe take your opacity down. And you can create, you know, as many layers as you need. If you wanna work on the crumbs on one layer, say we've got all of that done there on, on that layer, and we're gonna work, say we're working on the under eyes next, you can create a new layer. So I'm gonna do a new layer and I'm gonna name that one under eye. And then you can lower the opacity on that so you get, you know, you can take it all away or you can make it somewhere in between so it looks more natural. And then the last one is the spot healing brush and it works just like the healing brush does except for it doesn't use a source point. So you just paint on the area you want to fix and then Photoshop tries to guess and look at the areas surrounding it and fix the spots for you. And so I'll show you what the spot healing brush does here. We'll zoom way in again. Pick our spot healing brush here. Let's see here, I'm gonna create a new layer for this work. And a new layer and name it spot. And then I am going to make sure I have sample all layers. So it's actually selecting from this layer be below us and I'm gonna do proximity match. And I am gonna click on that and see how, it, look at that. It just takes it right away and does all the work for me. And now I'm looking here and I think I have a, a hard brush selected. So I'm gonna pick a softer brush and hit my left bracket key to go down and there. And so that's really nice. A spot healing brush works really well for smaller areas like um, little tiny blemishes or scratches. And it's really quick and it, it does all the guesswork for you. Works really nicely for just quickly speeding through and, quick and fixing all those little spots. And then when you're done doing all of your edits, you know, adjust the opacity as you want to and uh, you can flatten it out and then you can uh, work on editing with actions and fixing any other corrections that you need to do on your image. And so I'm gonna flatten this and there's probably a little bit more cleanup that I would do if I was really wanting to get rid of all of that. And I'm gonna pick the Fresh Wonderland 2 set that's brand new out for Photoshop and Elements. And I'm gonna do a little black and white on this called Pure Sugar. And there is our pure sugar adjustment layers. Right here we've got um, this This here is going to, you can select that and adjust the opacity on that if you wanna fade, it, fade out some of the color and contrast and, and other effects that uh, are above and beyond the basic black and white. Underneath that you have a basic black and white. And on top of that you've got pure sugar that makes it really pretty. And so uh, there you have it. I hope that learning a little bit more about your clone and healing brushes helps you. And I thank you very much for listening. And I hope you have a fabulous day.